The women do not want beta, passive, people-pleasing pushovers. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about nice guys, okay, and why girls are not attracted to them. Guys that are too nice, too much of a people pleaser, too much of a pushover. So, before we continue, please subscribe if you have not already. Press the notification bell to be alerted of new videos every day. Shooting for new videos all throughout 2021, every single day. Also, if you want to get very, very, very good at the game very quickly, and as quickly as eight weeks, okay, to have the whole game mastered from start to finish, jump on a free 30 minute call with me in the description. I'll show you how I can get you there very fast, okay? So a lot of clients that come to me over the years, they say, hey, girls all tell me like, oh, I'm, I'm very nice, or I'm, I'm, I'm just like their nice friend or whatever. Basically, the guy's getting friend zoned because he's too much of a people pleaser, and it's pussy repellent, okay, to put it bluntly. The, the women do not want beta, passive, people-pleasing pushovers. I have a video on my channel called Depussification 101, where I talk about how you can break out of being a pussy. Okay, but the issue with being a nice guy is that women want you to have like some backbone. They want you to have some assertiveness. They want you to have a commanding presence to lead things, etc. So let me back up to when I was in college. Okay, and I, when I used to be a super, super nice guy, I still am a nice guy, but there's a difference between being like an overly nice guy and just a normal nice guy that's, that's nice to people, okay? So back in college, I went into college not having kissed a girl yet, okay? And I had not had sex yet either. I was planning on waiting until marriage. I was raised very religious. And I thought that I would wait to find like my dream girl and then I would lose my virginity after getting married. Okay, so that was like the plan. And I ended up getting a girlfriend in college, okay? And, and I ended up losing my virginity and all this stuff in college. But I thought there was like a linear correlation to what I would do that was nice for the girl and how much she would like me. So I thought, okay, where can I find opportunities to buy her flowers, to buy her chocolates, to buy her a stuffed bear, to take her to dinner, etc., to compliment her. I thought that all these things were going to like work in my favor and literally correlate to uh, how much the girl was attracted and how much she was interested. And it comes to be the actual state of affairs that it's pretty much the direct opposite, okay? You can do nice things for girls, but it shouldn't be just showering her with gifts and showering her with attention and showering her with praise, okay? So I talked to my uncle who was like a big natural, like massive player back in the day, and his advice was to treat girls well, okay? Treat girls well, but don't kiss their ass. This is the big distinction. Don't kiss their ass. That means don't be endlessly complimenting them. It, does, it means have some boundaries, have some lines. Don't let them walk all over you. If she does something to disrespect you or that, or that is bullshit or that is fucked up, you call her out and, and you tell her that's not acceptable. And depending on your own personal values and what you're willing to tolerate, you can either give them a firm warning or two or you can just cut them off, okay? Or become, you know, back off, become distant if, if she's being out of control. So women don't want like a guy that's just going to be like, okay, whatever you do, I'm gonna be okay with it. Because most guys are thinking like, this chick is hot. I don't wanna be confrontational with her. I don't wanna like rock the boat, so to speak, and cause problems. So I'm just gonna let her do whatever she wants, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna stand up for myself. I'm not gonna voice an opinion, right? If she's like, hey babe, what do you want for dinner? I'm gonna say, oh, what, what do you want for dinner? Let's, let's have whatever you would like, okay? So to kind of sum up those points, you should be nice to the girl until she fucks up or disrespects or cross the line, at which point you call her out, you tell her that's not okay, and that you're willing to fucking leave, you know, not see her again if she's gonna continue acting that way. Okay? And that goes for everyone in your life. That goes for your friends, for family members, etc. even people that you're close with. I had to make some boundaries with my mother. I grew up in a household of verbal abuse, okay, but I was financially dependent on my parents, obviously as a child. And after I moved out of the house, when I came back to the house, I said, listen, you aren't allowed to raise your voice to me anymore. You're not allowed to, after I came back after the first year of college, you're not allowed to insult me. I don't want you like being aggressive and attacking. I don't want you attacking dad either. I'm not gonna tolerate that. And this and that, and she's like, oh, what are you gonna do, blah, blah. I said, I'll leave. I said, oh, you're getting the warrant. Oh, well, I'm your mother and this is my house. I can do what I want. I said, listen, I love you, but these are the rules I have with everyone, okay? And, they, and this is how it's gonna be now. And she called my bluff and I left. 
right? So she, and I never lived there again, right? And we still talk and we're on better terms now. But it's basically you draw the line in the sand and if people want to continue acting that way, then you don't need to be a part of it. Okay, it's that simple. Um, but the other part of that is when I say be nice to the girl, that doesn't mean be overly nice and be kissing her ass, okay? So you don't want to be showering her with gifts, showering her with praise. I made a video called, uh, about Mystery's cat string theory and I think he was pretty spot on there. And, it, and it, the whole cat string theory concept goes that if you were to dangle a string from a ball of yarn in front of a cat, it's gonna jump up and do tricks and, and do everything it can to get that piece of string. But when you give it the ball of yarn, it doesn't want it. It's not interested anymore, right? So basically, guys that are giving, like, and, and I think Mystery talks about like giving a, like a whole cake versus like pieces of cake here and there. You kind of want to intermittently space out the rewards, okay? Nothing is fun if it's just like win, 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 right? Or, or just like praise, praise, praise. She has to, like, it, she has to like appreciate the praise and since it's like given out sparingly, okay? And, and she has to, it's not special if you're just always, that's what I mean by kissing her ass, okay? Or crawling up her ass. Most guys, when they get a girl that's like a little bit out of their league, and this can even, this doesn't even need to be a hot girl. It can, if guys are used to getting fours or fives and they get like a six or 6.5, they could start doing what's called putting the pussy on a pedestal, okay? Guys that are used to sevens, they could do this for eights or nines. Where you, you see this girl, okay, just because she's hot, you think that her value is like far greater than yours, okay? And that you must like express how much you think she's amazing and how beautiful you think she is all the time and how everything she does is so great just so that you can win extra points and like share, she can share these experiences with you. But what you're basically doing is taking out a can of pussy repellent and spraying it all over yourself and she's like, ah, oh, get the fuck away, all right? So I'm covering a lot of topics and it, 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 they're all kind of interrelated here. But you don't want to be kissing her ass and crawling up her ass. You don't want to be over texting her, hey babe, how's your day? Hey, hey, how are you doing? Right? You don't want to be like blowing up her phone, being too available, um, complimenting her all the time, you know, letting her get away with anything, et cetera, et cetera. So be cool. And, and what, what, there's no better way to like keep like the mindsets and the actions in check than to have a bunch of hot girls. Okay? So when you have like multiple nines on rotation, for instance, any particular one of them isn't that big of a deal to you. Because why? You have other nines, and because you have the skills to generate new nines. And, and plus, even if you lost all of them, who gives a shit? Right? It's not like, once you reach to like an advanced level of the game, these girls aren't going to be like a super big deal to you, right? And they, and they shouldn't be, even as you're, you're coming up in the game, but it's hard, it's easier said than done. But the point is, <laughs> you don't want to be like constantly texting or constantly complimenting, or et cetera, et cetera. But just be cool. Treat her as if she was a girl that you know you're not that you're not putting on pedestal. So treat her as if she's like a five or a four or whatever. That doesn't mean you need to like make fun of her, be rude, or treat her like she's worthless. It just means don't kiss her ass. Okay, I think you guys are smart enough to figure out what that means. So it's basically just be cool, present value, have boundaries, lead. Okay, bring shit to the table. Don't always be passive. Whatever you want to do, whatever yeah, whatever you think is fine, etc. Don't be afraid to like speak your mind. Un be unapologetic about what you br what you say and do. Okay, as, as long as you're not being like a big asshole, right? That doesn't mean you have free reign to just you know just do whatever the fuck at all times, and 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 as long as you own it. But you know, within lines, within reason, you're just treating her like another girl, right? That, and and I, again, I don't mean that in a bad way. Like, oh, she's nothing to me, etc. Like we had like two hot girls over yesterday and they're like stripping and shit. And, and I had some friends over and these girls were like getting fucking naked and like, you know, shaking their ass and their tits in my face and all this stuff. They're not strippers. One of them lives here and the other one is thinking about moving in. And she just has threesomes and shit with us. But they were just fun and, they, and everybody's like having fun and stuff like that. I'm not like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. These girls were both above a nine. If I'm not like, oh, you're so beautiful, this and that. Oh, you know, you just, you just treat it. What she says like, oh, I love coming here. I just feel free here, right? If I'm in a bad mood, you're still cool. Like if, if I'm in a good mood, it's cool. Like I, I'm just like a good, positive source in her life. And that's what these girls want, okay? Because if they're, if they're hot, most dudes are like, oh, you're the most amazing thing ever, blah, 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 blah. If they have their number, they're blowing up their phone. They, they show me their phone. This is all these fucking dudes bo bothering them relentlessly. And, um, you know, and, and I'm, I'm telling them they're pretty now and then, but it's not like they're, I'm not putting them on a pedestal. It's not like I'm, I'm starstruck or, or they're this, this huge deal, okay? So to sum up, like, yes, that's nice if you were raised with good morals and to be like a gentleman and, and all this stuff. 
But at the end of the day, if, if you have no backbone and, and you're just kissing the girl's ass, she's going to walk all over you. She's probably going to cheat on you. She probably won't respect you. And she probably won't be attracted to you. Okay? So she might marry you. And, and set up a, a family with you. I banged a bunch of married girls and girls with boyfriends. I'm not proud of that. And I try to avoid that these days. But I heard from a lot of them. Yeah, my husband like kind of sucks in bed, and I don't I don't really like him that much. But he's a good father. But he works hard, right? Like, like they respect the fact that he provides for the family. They don't respect him as a man. They don't respect him as a lover. They don't. They don't see him as like some attractive alpha presence because he's not in, in a lot of cases. Okay, and that's why she steps out because they're attracted to alpha behavior. So the message here is you need to get these things in order. Okay, I can help you. I, I know very well how to help you. Most guys that come onto my course lack confidence, have self-esteem problems, um, have you know other baggage and, and mindset problems. A lot of them do have the nice guy syndrome, and you're going to go through your life getting friend zoned and maybe getting into a marriage with a girl that maybe you could have done a lot better, probably could have done a lot better, and she might end up just going off and cheating on you, right? So, you, so you're gonna be in for a lot of uh, problem times, and I know it's paradoxical, because we're brought up to believe in the Disney movies and from our fucking mothers and stuff, that yeah, you just be nice and the rest works out. That's not how it is. That doesn't mean be an asshole, okay? The, the girls don't like the bad boy, like, player guys because they're just assholes all the time. It's because those guys aren't kissing their ass. Those guys aren't blowing up their phones. Those guys aren't showering them with praise. Those guys aren't afraid to speak their mind or ruffle feathers or call her out on her shit, okay? And for those exact reasons, that's why they're able to get lots of those girls. So I, I hope that was very, very helpful. If you do want to get that part handled, as long as A to Z strategy, please jump on a free 30 minute call with me personally. I'll show you how I can take you from whatever level you're at to a very advanced level very fast. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you have not already and smash the like button, share this video if it was helpful. Press the notification bell if you're not yet a subscriber so that you can get notifications of new videos every single day and never miss a video. Thank you guys so much. I'm John Anthony and I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.